While strolling through Nashville's Centennial Park, you'll come upon one of its greatest treasures, a full-on replica of the Parthenon in Athens, a mind-blowing, gigantic building that is as majestic as the original. I'm Wesley Payne. I'm Museum Director of the Parthenon in Nashville, Tennessee. The Parthenon in Nashville sits in the middle of a beautiful park. It's called Centennial Park because it was the grounds for the State Centennial Exposition. But why on earth is there a Parthenon here? Lots of people ask why there's a Parthenon in Nashville, Tennessee. It's because Nashville had the nickname from early in the city's history of Athens of the South. So when the state decided to celebrate its 100th birthday with a huge World's Fair type exposition, Nashville said, okay, we will build the art building for the exposition and we'll build it as a copy of the Parthenon to remind everybody that we're the Athens of the South. It was built to be temporary. What is now Centennial Park, where we are, was covered with buildings, all of them meant to be temporary. But city dwellers loved their Parthenon so much, they decided to make it permanent in 1920. The Greek Parthenon is made of marble. This one's made of steel reinforced concrete, but the pediment, or the triangular section on the front above the columns, is just like the originals and tells the story with sculpture. The pediment tells the story of the birth of Athena. This was the front of the building, so this was the most important myth they could tell. Oh, and while we're talking about Athena, there just so happens to be a huge statue of her inside. What a sight. The statue of Athena is just two inches shy of 42 feet tall. She is covered in gold leaf and paint. Once again, as near as we, as scholarship tells us she looked like, she holds um, a statue that is six feet four inches tall of Nike, the goddess of victory. And there are all sorts of ornaments on her that have a mythological meaning to the ancient Greeks. There's a few slight differences between the ancient Athena and this one. The ancient statue was plated in gold, and on something this big, it would probably have been something in the neighborhood of 2,000 pounds of gold. Our statue is covered in gold leaf, so eight, eight and a half pounds of gold, and um, that gives the look exactly that we need without, we couldn't have afforded to do 2,000 pounds of gold. The Parthenon even houses a nice art collection. I would like to say to anybody who's listening, welcome. I hope you'll come.